welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Dr. Tracy Edwards from Skin Temple Dermatology and today's topic is a very awkward one. Not a lot of people like to talk about it, but today I'm here to demystify body odor. So the medical term for body odor is bromhydrosis and this really refers to excessive body odor or abnormal body odor. It occurs in literally anyone since we all have sweat glands. However, it tends to affect men more often. We have two main types of sweat glands, apocrine glands and eccrine glands. The apocrine glands are the ones that really kick in around the time of puberty and they're found underneath the armpits and in the groin region. So it's no coincidence that around the time of puberty, we can no longer get away with not wearing deodorant. The eccrine glands are found all over our body and their main purpose is to keep us cool through regulating how we sweat. Contrary to what you may think, sweat itself isn't actually smelly. What causes a body odor or a, a bad smell to occur is the interaction of bacteria on the skin with the sweat producing ammonia and other foul smelling byproducts. The degree of body odor increases if there's more bacteria in the regions to interact with the sweat that's present there or if the sweat is of a larger volume, so the bacteria that is there has more sweat to interact with. Since we know this, whenever we're treating bromhydrosis or body odor, we target the bacteria on the skin, so we keep the bacteria at a minimum, as well as decrease the amount of sweat that is produced. Obesity, diabetes, and certain skin infections can lead to apocrine bromhydrosis. Eccrine bromhydrosis can occur when we eat certain foods like garlic, onion, um, if we consume alcohol, and if we're on certain medications like penicillin. To reduce the quantity of bacteria on the skin, we can go for antibacterial soaps to bathe twice per day usually. We can go for antibiotic lotions and creams to the affected areas. We can also use benzoyl peroxide which is an acne medication that works really well to kill off that bacteria as well. We also want to treat any underlying skin condition that is present. So you can have something called erythrasma or a yeast infection or even a fungal infection under the armpits or in the groin region. Antiperspirant deodorants are very helpful in reducing homotree sweat. Something that we need to remember is that we should not be re-wearing clothes that we sweat in before without washing it. This of course will speed up how fast body odor develops. And you also want to remember not to stay in sweaty clothes. Um, we have to change out of those as soon as possible. There are certain medications called anticholinergics which help to reduce how much sweat we produce. There's also Botox. Yes, Botox can be actually injected into the armpits and other areas where the sweat glands are overactive, lessening how much we sweat. There are other procedures such as iontophoresis, microwaving of the sweat glands, and even surgical procedures that help to reduce production of sweat. I just wanted to add that there is a phenomenon known as olfactory reference syndrome where a person may have a false belief that they have really bad body odor. We also sometimes want to rule out conditions like trimethylaminuria or fish odor syndrome, liver failure, kidney failure and other illnesses because these can also contribute to body odor. So in persons who we think there's something else going on, we definitely have to investigate further. As I mentioned earlier in this video, bromhydrosis or fall body odor can affect anyone. So if you are experiencing this condition, do not be alarmed. Just take the necessary steps and if you still find it difficult to control your body odor, definitely seek medical advice. If you know someone who is experiencing this condition, please be kind in how you bring up the topic to this person. However, it's still a good idea to let them know because not everyone who experiences fall body odor is aware of it. 
Thanks so much for watching. Please continue to show your support for this channel by liking, sharing, commenting, and I will see you in the next video.